Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to check it out how to make this magnifying sphere in Photoshop. Step one, I'm going to go and select the rectangle, which is located right here. I'm going to press and hold shift, create a rectangle, click on the stroke, click on none, make sure to have something on the fill. I'm going to click on the fill, click on the black. I'm going to press control T to scale it a little bit more. And I'm going to position it here, double click release, press and hold alt, drag it here. And I'm going to go up here to the auto select and check it. And I'm going to click on the first square. I'm going to press and hold alt to create a copy. And I'm going to pull it on the right side. I'm going to take this one and just do the same thing over and over. And I'm going to position this here and I'm going to select this square, press and hold shift, and then also select the other two squares and as you can see here it selected them all press and hold alt and create some copies like that great i gotta select all of it actually i'm gonna press and hold shift select all these layers press ctrl t and i'm gonna scale it like this boom there you go and i'm gonna delete this one at the end i'm gonna select all of the rectangle press ctrl g now I'm going to uncheck the auto select, press and hold alt, drag the squares, create a copy like that. I'm going to create a new group of these squares, press control G to group them and press and hold alt and drag it, create copies like that. And it looks something like that. I'm going to select them all, press and hold shift, select all, press control G to group. I'm going to create a new copy, press control J to duplicate. I'm going to uncheck the original. I'm going to right click on the group and click on merge group. I'm gonna rename it as square pattern. Now I'm gonna go and select the circle, the ellipse tool, press and hold shift, create a circle. I'm gonna position it in the center. I'm gonna uncheck it, press and hold control and go and click on the ellipse tools thumbnail like that. And it's gonna highlight the circle. Let's select the square pattern. Now we're gonna go to the filter, distort, and we're gonna go to the sphere eyes. Make sure that the sphere eyes is on 100, Click OK and we're going to do it again. Go to filter and it's going to highlight it here. Sphere eyes, click on it and it's going to make it bigger. Press Ctrl D to deselect. I'm going to activate the ellipse tool and I'm going to click on the ellipse. I'm going to decrease the fill to zero. I'm going to double click on the ellipse. I'm going to click on the drop shadow and I suggest you to push up the opacity to 100, blend mode to normal, angle 90, doesn't really matter. The distance is somewhere should be low. Basically the sh shadow is gonna go all the way around and around. And we also have this spread, which you can customize. If you increase it, it's gonna create a better contrast. And of course, make sure to push the size all the way up. I also gonna activate the inner shadow. I'm gonna increase the opacity, somewhere around 70, 80. I'm gonna push the angle down and I'm gonna increase the distance. So check this out, it's gonna create the shadow right here. And I also gonna increase the size and it starts to get better and better. Good, now we're gonna go to the inner glow, check it, make sure to be on white, click OK. Opacity, I'm gonna push it up, somewhere around 70. Okay, so I'm gonna decrease the size, somewhere around five, and I'm gonna increase the choke. And as you can see, it's gonna start creating this uh, outline basically, which is gonna look lighter. I also gonna increase the size a little bit more. I gotta go with 10 this time. I also gonna go and add some set in. It's gonna be somewhere on grayish. I gotta decrease the opacity. I gotta put the angle 90 degrees. Distance is good. I gotta decrease the size. Let me. And I gotta change the contour with this one. I also gonna add the gradient overlay. I'm gonna check it and I'm gonna bring the angle somewhere around here. So the dark, the black side is gonna be on the top and it starts to look more three dimensional. Let me decrease the opacity a little bit. I gotta leave it on 66. Click OK. From here, I'm gonna create a new ellipse. I'm gonna select the ellipse. I'm gonna create one like this one and I'm gonna recolor it, the fill, to white. And I'm gonna click on the stroke, click on the none. And I'm gonna rotate it and I'm gonna start positioning it somewhere here. So this is gonna look like the glow, like that. I'm gonna press and hold alt, create a copy. I'm gonna press control T, scale it. I also can distort it, something like that. I'm gonna select both, decrease maybe the opacity a little bit. Wow. And we got a magnifying sphere in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.